hi guys welcome back and happy new year's yes so i'm back again with another makeup tutorial and this one as you can see is a bold lips and a nude lip one like an ombre kind of lip this was the look i had on if you follow me on instagram when miriam and i went back shopping Would you like to see how i got this look keep on watching Starting off with Max Paint Pot in Painterly as usual and I'm applying this all over my noble lid. Just ignore my eyebrows there, they're overgrown. Coco Bet from Makeup Geek, you know how I feel about this eyeshadow, I love it. I'm using that as my transition color and I'm also kind of using it to cover up my crease just a little bit. And the fact that I have, you know, a very small lip crease. So I'm just trying to expand it just a little bit. And I'm just applying that and I'm doing, so with this look you just want to prepare yourself for a lot of blending taking mocha also for makeup geek love the shadow it's a nice rich dark brown and i'm applying this in my crease with a flat shader brush from sigma i can't remember the number of this brush and i'm just using it to carve my crease and i'm changing the direction of this brush i'm sure you've seen this technique so many times this technique expands your crease as you can see this particular eye i'm working on is kind of giving me a little bit of difficulty because i kind of have an eye infection when I, I, I had an eye infection while I was filming this video so the eye was kind of just acting up but I was able to get it done so I'm just blending dash now and I'm bringing it into and uh, bringing it a little bit in as you can see it looks like my crease is getting bigger so that's just the technique that I use and sometimes a pencil brush I'm just going in with a tapered blending brush there and I'm just adding a little bit of big bit of a dark kind of color and blending that out taking nyx jumbo pencil in milk and i'm applying this all over my mobile lid this is an amazing thing to use to for colors that do not pay off well because the eyeshadow that i used in this video does not pay off really well which is kind of annoying i use an eyeshadow i used an eyeshadow that came from my sedona list palette which was kind of crap but the best one to use is this one from the Naked Stew palette that is called Booty Call. That, is, that was actually the shadow I used that day. Booty Call was what I used and I forgot I should have used that. I'm using Booty Call also on my brow bone. Taking Makeup's Geek Eye um, Glitter pigment in afterglow and I'm using that in my inner tear dot. My, N, my YSL co-liner in black and i'm lining my washer line and i'm also tight lining up in bottom and i'm just gonna use a tapered um pencil brush and i'm just gonna use that to kind of smudge it out for a smoky effect like i'm doing here just to smoke it out just to give us you know that effect taking my favorite nyx nyc liquid eyeliner and i'm just lining my um eyes there very bold as you can see taking my givenchy um, mascara and i'm just applying that for my blush i'm using nars taj mahal you know how much i love this and using taj mahal as my blush sorry guys my lighting is really really bright because i got new lighting and i'm just mastering them right now taking abstracts from nars and i'm also applying this on the highest part point of my cheekbones just to give me that glow trust me guys i had so so much glow in this with this makeup look i had so so much glow and i'm just highlighting my um my lips my nose as well yeah as you can see my i kind of cut this part short as you can see you can't really see a lot of the ash lines on my nose because i kind of have this technique that i use bosh um, i'm gonna show that in a later in a later video because i hate when i can see contour lines on the nose so yeah i'm gonna show that uh, in a later video so i'm just trying to highlight my nose there and i'm gonna do some serious blended as well just to kind of um diffuse any hash lines that i might have as you can see my eyes on the other side kind of looks a little bit not as heavy as the one on the other side like i said i had like a little irritation on that eye so i just kind of work with how i was feeling that day not to irritate the eye any further for my first lips i'm using um wash and wild lip pencil in i think it's called hazelnut and I'm also going to, I know guys, I'm wearing a nude, like a pure nude. I'm using Max Sis Lip. Time is coming, I know that it is near. 
And now, guys, for the second lips, I'm taking Nix's um, lip pencil in burgundy, I believe. And I'm just outlining my lips. This was actually the lip that I had that day when Mirex Closet and I were out shopping. This was the actual lip I had. So I used um, Nix's burgundy lip pencil. I think it's burgundy, yeah. And I just outlined my lips, filled in the corners, and I took my Nix's... Um, um, jumbo pencil and milk and i just kind of blended that in because i wanted an ombre effect then i took my rihanna's talk that talk lipstick i absolutely love this lip i'm just using a lip brush to kind of just go over that and kind of blend it in to give me the ombre effect that i want it's a lot 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 bolder in person because of my new lighting system it's coming off kind of pinkish i'm still trying to work with my light system because for me this video just has too much lights and i'm only using two lights right now so i might need to readjust my filming location to kind of make my lights work so just bear with me on that <laughs> Time is coming, I know that it is near. The future is brighter, look as it is coming. And I'm just taking a clear gloss and I'm applying that to the center of my lips, and that is it. Yeah man, so you know, some people ask me like, but guy, where's the Abby going to blow now, all those hands? I'm like, guy, cool off man, it's coming soon. Be in place, fast cars, everything. You know what's up? Yeah, yeah, but like you. Yeah, the up in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 